Hello, I'm Avery, this is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can do keyword researching to help get yourself ranked in YouTube search and in Google search with Morning Fame. If you don't know what Morning Fame, keyword researching is what it specializes in. It also has a couple of other features. I've done a video, basically a review on it. So if you wanna learn more about Morning Fame, check that video out, that should pop up somewhere around you know, right about now. Also, it would be a good idea for me to let you know that you can use my invitation code to use Morning Fame free for a month. And then after a month, you got to pay for it. I mean, you got to do it at some point in time, right? But yeah, let me go ahead and show this off. So right now I'm on Morning Fame Research. First, they got four different, you know, areas. The first one is the topic, you know, step one. So I can go ahead and do if I already have a topic in mind, I can go ahead and put it down here. If I have a video that inspired me, I can put the video link here and then it will open up some keywords that came out of it and whatnot. Now, below that, it says create more of these, which in which case is giving me recommendations for videos that have been doing pretty good on my channel and have been growing my channel. So you have it in general and then you click on that. You can go to views, views from visitors subscribers and same thing with watch time and the same thing with engagement so i can go to engagement by visitors and then i can see how this changes up now i'll go back to uh let's go to watch time you can see that it changes up just a little bit but if i want to do watch time from subscribers you see that it changed up again so let me go back to the in general and I'm gonna go down and it says, get ideas from channels close to yours. So what they do is take keywords that are similar to what I've used or keywords that I've used before. And these are keywords that they have used in their videos. And it's saying, okay, well, y'all have these in common. So use some of these, All right? And then I can keep going down to find more people. So if you have a problem, with obtaining ideas for videos, you can use this as a good way to uh, figure it out. But I already have something I want to uh, put in. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna start off with this one, which is YouTube keyword research and go to step two. Step two is saying choose a target search term. Now you can see over here with the main keyword I have up here is rated very badly except for the rating. The rating is pretty high. Now, I can go down to common keywords. It says great choices for larger channels. And then on the right, you have uncommon keywords, great choices for smaller channels. These over here are short tail keywords versus over here are long tail keywords. You know, larger channels I have to deal with trying to make uh, their keywords more niche or have to make long tour make long tail keywords to be more specific you know some smaller channels gotta do that in order to get ranked on the first page that's what that's about and then you go down you go to common hashtags and then uncommon hashtags it's the same thing you know common hashtags might be a hot topic uncommon may become hot topic as it says and then lower you see that it has the top ranking video up here and then it has the keywords that it uses right beside it and then you go down, see some similar keywords. It says similar keywords, similar videos that are also on the first page. So you keep going down and then that's it. And then I ask you at the bottom, the channel's large or smaller, but I think you, I think you already know whether or not your channel's large or small. So what I wanna do, instead of using keyword research, what I wanna do is go over here and see if I can find something for smaller channels that might, you know, work a little better for me. So let's say a free tool for keyword research. Clicking on that, it says quick look up, which will look up my rating, or I could just go straight to step three for it. But I want to look it up. Quick look up. And you see that it says all F's in A. So this is even worse than this keyword <laughs> up here and you know it just happens like that sometimes honestly all of these are pretty competitive so what i'm going to do is just pick one and then go to step three 
Okay, going to step three, you can see that I have the search term up here, best keyword research tool for YouTube. You can see over here, channel views, views are both at an E. I got D for likes and comments together, and then the B as far as relevance to this, this search term. What does all this mean? Going from left to right, channel views, you got 592, that's my channel views. This is the channel views for the gateway video. And this is for the highest video that's up here on the first page for ranking. Same thing, highest video, lowest video, or gateway video rather. Same thing, same thing. So anytime I'm a, anytime I'm below the gateway video, I'm going to be either an E or an F. And then as soon as I'm at least a little bit above it, as you can see right here, I'm going to be at a D. And then as the higher I get, I'll go from a C to B to A, if, especially I'm going to be at an A if I'm above it or anywhere near the top. So that's it. Morning Fame suggests that you should at least try to go for all D's and at least a B in relevance. And if you have a question mark as far as views, it's basically saying that the search volume for this might be too low to be attractive for you to use on your channel. So that's all it is. Um, going down, you can see all of the videos that are, you know, on the first page for the search term. And of course I don't have anything for it. I mean, I, I haven't used the search term yet, so I wouldn't, uh, suggestions plus basically if I wanted to get rid of this, right? You can see the, how some search terms comes up the same thing with suggestions, but you'll see more of them. You see that? So you can use that to get some suggestions up if you ran out of ideas. You can look at your last suggestions here. Uh, you look at use tags right here. You can look up your search history here. And then you can look up favorite search terms. So all you got to do is click on this star right here and then it'll pop up. So that's it. I'm going to go with a search term that I am going to use in a four separate video. So going with place the thumbnail maker, you can see that I have a rating of 19 for place the thumbnail maker. It has two checks beside it. One's for search term on YouTube. Another one makes it seem like it's a search term that pops up on Google. Uh, as far as the channel views, and the regular views for individual video, I'm good. I'm above an F or E and the likes and relevance I'm above on that. So this would be a good search term for me to uh, make my title and descriptions off of. So you can see going down low, not that many people are getting much views from it. This person at the top only got 5,000 in six months, but this person's views, the overall channel views, uh, is doing pretty good for this person's channel. The second person is not doing good at all for this person's channel. Uh, and the way I'm, you know, deducting that, or the way I'm figuring that out is by going off this, this individual's specific video here, looking at how many months has been up, and then also looking at the overall channel views that they got. So how much has this video really boosted their, you know, their channel? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And uh, yeah, I don't see it for this one. Didn't see if I saw it for the first video, didn't see it for the second one. This one right here, I mean, no. Yes and no, I mean, this person, I don't, I don't know what to say to this. Uh, this person's channel, no. This person's channel, no, I mean, he has 64 million and then it's only like 64,000, like that's 1%. To me, that means a lot of your subscribers aren't actually checking out this video. So yeah, that's also how I look at it. But with that, all that being said, right, let me go ahead and say, this is something I'm gonna use. So I wanna go to step four. So now you got a step four, which optimize the metadata. And the first thing is the title which you can get a 40 out of 40 if I just leave it as this, but I don't want to just leave it at that. But one of the best ways to 
get more a higher percentage in description is just by copy and pasting i do that a lot you know i'll copy and paste my title my complete title in the description and i'll also copy and paste it into the tagline so it'll be a tagline as well so you can already see just by doing that my relevance for this thumbnail for this thumbnail my relevance for this search term is already at a it's at 87 percent so what I can do is go down into the tags and try to figure out something else for it. So you got YouTube thumbnail maker, place it tutorial, place it video tutorial, uh, thumbnail design. And then I keep going down. Most of these are pretty good, except for these ones that the zero has zero relevance to my title. So something that I can do, but I also want to watch the characters, but, uh, if I want to go ahead and get rid of these, how to make custom thumbnails on YouTube, how to make, uh, let's say I want to copy this one to some degree and then go how to make, and go say custom, how to make thumbnails and then put place it instead. And then I'll add a tag and see what that came up with. I make thumbnails tag it's 3% but nobody looks at it looks for that so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it it'll take the top five and then use those to add to your score well ultimately this is pretty good I'm, I'm okay with having 87% so going at the bottom I can pin a comment um, I can go ahead and add a thumbnail right here. So if I had a thumbnail, which I don't got one, but let's just say I have a, something close to it that I want to use. So I'll go to 2020 and I'm going to place it and just take that one. My thumbnail's gonna look pretty close to that anyway. So I can go ahead and say, you know what? My thumbnail, I think it looks good enough to work beside any of these. I think it looks better than this one, that one, that one, that one. I like this person's thumbnail. So this would be the only one, my personal opinion, that I would have a hard time getting view, taking views from basically. So that's it. Now you can say that videos change. It says all changes have been saved. So I can see this at the bottom. I can duplicate it, I can delete it. Or I can go ahead and get rid of any of these. But once you save your metadata, you can go ahead and save it down here so it can be pulled at any point in time. I also can copy to the clipboard so I don't have to. So if I want to go ahead and directly take this title, description, and all that, I can go ahead and just grab it. That copying it to the clipboard and take it over to YouTube and then put it down. So with all that being said, that's all I wanted to talk about. Hopefully you find information useful. If you did, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you get notified when new videos come out for me. Make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.